Hey peeps! I'm actually filming quite a few recipes over this weekend. I realized a little late, but <laughs> I wanted to share this one with you. So, uh, a long time ago, a very popular video of mine, which was a garlic sauteed crab, um, was put on YouTube by me, of course, it wasn't like a random person. And I was saying that this reminds me of the green beans that um, my mom, well, I like them too, that my mom and I really like from like Chinese buffets in New York. And so I was like, well, you know what? Guess it's about time to make that video, right? So right now I have, and so this is actually an amalgamation of a recipe that I, had, well, the one that I made before with y'all. I just don't have certain things like garlic paste anymore, so I'm just using minced garlic. Um, but also, it's coming from um, just uh, like putting together some stuff and going, okay, I want this or I don't want that, or maybe this is too much or too little. So let's get into it. So I've two tablespoons of minced garlic. I have a tablespoon of garlic salt. I have a teaspoon, is that a teaspoon? It's a teaspoon of pepper. Um, and I only use that because I'm gonna use a tablespoon of chili oil. I'm going to use two tablespoons of <clears throat> extra virgin olive oil. And I'm going to be using a, um, this is, this is some garlic butter, but that's about a tablespoon. This is, this is gonna be eight tablespoons of butter, so that's one stick. Two pounds of green beans. I'm going to snip these and wash them in a moment. And then I have a pound right here of the crab, uh, the legs, what is it? Uh, imitation crab, it's flake style. So it's like the other one I have, but this one is not flavored. So if you can't find the garlic one I had that I used in that video way back then, um, you can just use this one. So I'm going to snip the green beans um, and then we will uh, get started. So here we are at the sink. Not much has changed except I cut both ends off of the greens and I rinse of the green beans and I rinse them. So I have this on medium high. I put the olive oil in. I didn't put the chili oil in because there's stuff in it. I don't want it to burn. I'm gonna put that in when I um put in the crab. So I rinse this about three times, right? The fourth time I don't rinse it, quote unquote. I just run I run water over it. Right? Because you'll notice there's no excess water in this recipe anyway. So it's been that's been on medium high for about a minute or two. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna move the camera over so you can see. Right? And it's pretty hot. The residual water. That's on the greens is actually going to be what steams this. I'm going to put the top on now. And I'm going to let that go for about two to three minutes, stirring occasionally. I'm actually going to put it on for three. I'll set my timer now. Um, and the reason I'm doing this is I could put it for five if it was just the greens and then add everything. But the reason I'm doing it for three is because we're going to take the greens out once they're done. And since this is two pounds, it may take longer than three minutes, but you want them to be still a little bit firm um, because what we're going to do is while this is cooking for three minutes, we're going to cut open this bag, drain this and rinse this off completely. Take these greens, green beans out, put them on this platter to rest. I love this platter. I use it for a lot of things. I only got it, got it for 50 cents. Um, but yeah, we're going to take the greens out and um, put it on the platter and then we're going to cook the crab and all the things and then add the greens back afterwards. So, like I said, three minutes, we'll be back. Here are the green beans. Um, these took a lot longer to cook than I thought they would, like a lot. Um, so these went on for 10 minutes because they were just not the way I liked them. So if they're not what you like, then there you go. So I'm gonna add a tablespoon of the chili oil now. The uh, eight tablespoons of butter. This is still on medium high heat. I don't know if you saw the, um, the sink, but I drained the crab. I had to get a spoon for the garlic, this garlic butter. Not all the butter is garlic butter, just that this is the garlic butter I had left over. It's about a tablespoon. That was missing a tablespoon of butter. You see how this goes? It's a. Uh, oh, the bag, man. It looks slow. It was funny because I was thinking that, um, for instance, I like my green beans very, very soft. <coughs> my mother's like the opposite. She likes hers very firm. 
But if I made this for my mother, and this is another way you can adjust the recipe, I would only use a one-to-one -one ratio of green beans to uh, crab. Because although my mother loves crab, she loves the, the I mean, she loves the, 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 the green beans, um, she really likes the crab. Like sometimes if there's too many green beans, she'll pick the crab out. So I'm just letting the butter melt right now. Um, and this will go pretty much like the other. Because I just want the butter to melt, and then I'm going to add everything else except the crab I'm gonna oh yeah, it's pretty much melted enough I'm gonna add the pepper the garlic salt the minced garlic all the minced garlic um I was fairly generous with that if you want to be generous be generous if you don't don't that's fine so yeah I would probably do one pound of garlic to one pound of uh, sorry yeah, I would do one pound of garlic, um, sorry, one pound of string beans, haha, <laughs> to one pound of crab. So this is ready. Oh, ready. So yeah, like I said, it's pretty much going to go the same way. It's cooking now. The pan is usually not this hot. So as soon as you smell, you can start to smell the garlic. I can actually see it. It's not browning yet, but... You can smell it. The crab has been fully drained. It was draining the entire time that the, um, the string beans were cooking. And all my crab. Yes, I got it on sale, and I still want my money's worth. <laughs> and yeah, this is a lot more um, butter and oil and stuff than the other recipe had because this is a lot more. Well, this because this is um also including the string beans so this will go on medium high for five minutes with the lid on and it will fry a little bit too and then when that's done I'll come back and we will add the green beans and then we'll mix those around as well so see you in about five minutes voila five minutes has passed my friends so <clears throat> I did start occasionally, but I'm going to do it again because I don't want anything too dark on the bottom. I don't want like, the garlic to burn or anything. And I love how it unfurls. It's just beautiful. It doesn't unfurl at the restaurant, <laughs> but it allows more of the stuff to get in. So, here we are back with our green beans. Yeah. Beautiful. Now we're just going to mix and toss and toss and toss. And what you're really trying to do is kind of get the green beans on the bottom. I mean, there you go. and I'm going to do something very interestingly unconventional, or maybe not. I have no idea. It's going to turn the heat off. I mean, they're both cooked. There's no need to keep cooking them. So what you're really trying to do here, though, with that action is you do want the flavors to sink in, but you don't want anything to burn. So it's still on. The coils are still going to be hot. The pot is fairly thick. That'll still be hot. So. And instead of cooking for five minutes, then cooling for five minutes, you can just cook it for five minutes. So, yep. I'm going to cook this for five minutes. Uh, or let this continue heating up for five minutes, rather. Lid back on. And then once uh, that's done, I'll taste for seasoning. If it needs a little bit more seasoning, it will still be hot enough for this to do the seasoning and everything like that. So do not worry. Five minutes on the clock. I will see you then. I knew that leaving off the pan would be, um, or turning it off would be a good idea. So it's been five minutes. This is still piping hot, by the way. Um, you can adjust for seasoning. I should have probably put that Tupperware closer to me. Uh, this is what I'm going to use to eat because it's been on the stove this whole time. So, like I said, I like green beans more, so I'm going to grab a lot of that. I'm also getting a lot of crab, but I want to make sure I have crab in every um, serving, too. Like if this, like I said, if this is for my mom, there'd be certain adjustments I'd make to the amount of string beans. Probably not the amount of butter or anything because we eat everything with rice. So, anyway. <laughs> so, I'm going to have some right now. Green beans are still crisp, like I've touched them. Well, touched them, that sounds awful. 
but I've um I can tell that they're still pretty firm not as firm as in the restaurant but like I said I like mine softer hey do what you want y'all recipe's yours now <laughs> um anyway so let me taste it Hmm. probably should have said to wait 10 minutes it's still really hot but it is delicious oh my goodness um and I like this better a little bit better in the restaurant only because it's spicy the one the restaurant does not have I don't think it has chili oil in it I like how spicy this is I will be eating on this for the next few days super win I hope you try it I'm gonna eat some more water just, just listen this is a Mmm. Delicious. So, I hope you make this and enjoy it. You don't want to have spice, you don't have to. Adjust as you wish. And have a great day. See y'all peeps in the next video.